Hello, everyone. Welcome to the press conference. We are joined by Sentinels, who have won the match today and will be advancing to the grand finals tomorrow. If you have any questions for the team, please use Zoom hand raise feature. We'll start with in-person media first. Hey, guys. Andrea from Strafe here. I felt like Sentinels was going to win, so I came in Sentinels Red today. So, yeah. quick question I want to make for Tyson. So, Tyson, outstanding game from you and all the team, as always. Congratulations on going to the grand finals. Uh, I want to bring a topic I made for the for both Loud and Paper X yesterday around community support and how their criticism can be a, a problem to a team and to a person, because not a long, a long time ago, you had some issues with all the social media backlash, right? So now, today, of course, everyone is going to be cheering for the team, is going to say you are all the best team in the world. Next time a lose comes, you know that's not going to happen. So I wanted a little bit of your perspective around how social media, how the fans, how the supporters can be both uh, help to a, a person, but also uh, a problem when loses happen. I think overall, uh, it is a double-edged sword having a very, uh, very high like fan base. A lot of people that support you because also like uh, what you said um, when it comes on to like losing, the fans or so-called fans can kind of turn their back and be like, "Oh, you guys are not great." Like they can say a bunch of mean comments and stuff. But uh, yeah, overall, like it, it is amazing to have the the fans that we do and have the 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 support of all of them, but sometimes like it is best to like ignore uh, social media when we lose a match, just because of how harsh the criticism can come. Awesome, thank you. Hey guys, I'm from Big Gamer Agency, and my question is: uh, first of all, is congratulations on making it the final. Um, I want to ask, what was the deficit of the team in the third map? And how do you feel about a rematch versus Genji? Um, the deficit in the third map, I think we had some issues with our atmosphere, with the way we communicate, with the way we flow as a team yesterday. And that's most of what we focused on going into today, controlling our own game, controlling our own atmosphere. And, you know, we had it yesterday because the stakes were really high. We had it today because we were up 2-0 and the stakes were really high. Uh, winning or losing, it's likely to happen when you get too excited. And uh, yeah, I think the same. It was a it was a microcosm of what had happened yesterday, and uh, I think we did a good job proving that we can come back from it, even in the middle of the series today. And in terms of dealing with Gen G, we're just going to go in with that mindset. Make sure we understand we learned a lot yesterday and we applied it really well. We can apply it even better tomorrow, and focus on our own game and our own team. Thank you. Hi, I'm Elaine from One Esports. And first of all, congratulations on the big win. Thank you. And this question is for Kaplan. So yesterday, there seemed to be some frustration on your part regarding decisions related to map vetoes and strategy. So how do you feel about those aspects today? And are you satisfied with the level that the team achieved today? Yeah, I definitely was frustrated yesterday about some of my own decisions and second guessing them, thinking, is that a mistake I can learn from? Today, there was not a lot of decisions to it. It's much more simple in the situation of who we're playing and the way a BO5 veto works. And it's the same thing for tomorrow, right? We don't even get a ban tomorrow, so there's no mistakes to make. So I'm going to be nice and uh, relaxed, kicked back knowing that. Okay, I do have one more follow-up question. And this is for everyone. Um, how does it feel to not only overcome a formidable opponent like Paper X, but also assert dominance with having the better Valorant bundle? <laughs> That's a Zelsus question. This is a big question for Zelsus. Every match I win is for the Sentinels bundle. So make sure you guys buy the Sentinels bundle. Thank you. He's a simple man. He's a simple man. Thank you. Hello guys, here Theo from Sons of KS. First of all, congratulations on your victory. My question is for Kaplan. It's been uh, two weeks with a lot of things going on. 
um, last week you even told us uh, about uh, jet lag, about uh, dieting, about a lot of changes that have been going on being in another country. Uh, and well, this may have affected some of the performance of the team in some maps. So I want I want you to tell us how do you handle these kind of situations to avoid being burned out and to avoid being overwhelmed before every game and to accomplish this kind of um, yeah victories. Yeah, uh, there's so much that goes into it, right? You need to know when you need to take a break or an off day when you can, even if you want to practice and clean stuff up in the middle of a tournament. You have to control the team's expectations, which I've not done a perfect job of, and I haven't even controlled my own expectations in the best of ways at points in this tournament. You need to be a really healthy human being to sustain the, the stress and the amount of energy and time you have to put in. There's a lot we could do differently, in my opinion, to be a healthier team on simple physical level and as a unit long term. And short term, it's just about controlling what we can, right? Making sure we're eating clean, making sure we're resting. Uh, we have a performance coach, Doug Gardner, who's been an incredible help with that. And he's really helped us in the short term. And I think he'll help us in the long term, too. And I think we're all really bought into understanding that we could be in better shape than we are. And we could look a lot better at a different tournament in the future because of that. And my second question is for second. Um, you're performing, uh, you're game, playing again tomorrow against uh, Genji, but it's a different situation, not only because it's a grand finals, but also because it's a best of five instead of a best of three. Uh, how do you feel uh, in this case facing again with uh, Korean champions? And what do you, what are your expectations? in the, this uh, specific scenario? Uh, I'm really excited to be able to rematch them tomorrow. I expect them to shoot back like they always do. They're a very strong team, obviously. But uh, I think we're going to bring our, the best version of ourselves that we can tomorrow and try and play a good match. Thank you, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Uh, the first question is for Kaplan. Uh, the different players speak a lot of time uh, about the um, uh, job of the of the coaching staff, no, uh, with the preparation of the maps. And the question is for you: uh, What do you think the, is the um, main point that you improve uh, respect the past seasons uh, in the coaching staff to to have better uh, better performance? I think a lot of it comes from being willing to delegate and let go of control and trust the team as well as expect the team to step up and, and fill in the empty gaps, right? So incredibly lucky to have John as my IGL and he's such a bright person around the game and Drew has really stepped up as well and I think the whole team is really creative and understands the game in unique ways and we all come together and for me that's been something I've learned a lot even this tournament. You have to uh, spread out responsibilities. Otherwise, it's just not realistic, and, and the quality of work goes down a lot. So, uh, got to take a leap of faith, and you know, everyone has to trust everyone to to come up with stuff. Um, the third question is for Tense, uh, because you are the only player in this tournament uh, who have won a master in, in the past, and tomorrow you can fight for the second master. And the question is. Um, how are your feels about uh, this situation? And um, if you have, what are your feeling about the support of a lot of people around the world? No, uh, and this this achieve that is the only player that uh, could achieve this in this moment. I think overall there is a little bit of pressure. Yes, um, we're going into the grand finals of this tournament. We're going to try our best. Uh, but I think the most important thing, other than winning, is that we just show the best version of ourselves. We play, we have fun, and as long as we learn something from it, from it at the end of the day, I think is what really matters to us. Uh, sure, a dub and another trophy would be really nice, and bringing that to my team and the Sentinels fans would be amazing. Thank you, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Jack from GG Recon. Congratulations on the win today. Um. There's a visible difference in how you came in today uh, as to compared to yesterday. You looked pretty tired yesterday, um, but you guys have obviously played a lot of Valorant over the last week or two. Um, how much will fatigue come into tomorrow? 
um, obviously Genji get a day off and are you still riding on adrenaline or are you really strugg- uh, is there a little bit of struggle with the uh, obviously fatigue and that's directed to anyone Can I you want to answer? Um, I'll be honest we just played that much of Valorant to get here <laughs> <laughs> so this was our goal right we came to the Masters we got to Grand Finals now we really want to win Masters because we have the chance so we got to take it so I don't care for like burnout or whatever. <laughs> we just want to play. No, fantastic. Thank you. All right, we'll move to remote media questions. First question from Brandon Esports GG. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the win, guys. Um, I'll ask this to both Tens and Sassy if I could, please. Um, as mentioned before, you know, Tens, you've won a previous Masters. Uh, Sassy, world champion, you know, in your rear view as well. I'd just like to ask you guys if you have any comparisons of, of those previous teams and kind of how this team operates in a similar fashion that's made you guys so successful. You want to go first? Yeah, sure. So I think this is my third final. Yeah, third final. It's a national tournament, speaking. Uh, there are a lot of like similarities, but here is unique, I think. Here we work like different you know i think like everyone is getting like involved doing like the hard work the coaches uh john of igl jordan being like the guy that keeps us together you know zach and tyson keep shooting please <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know for me it's just just another final i think the similarity between like past and and this one it feels like we're like a group of friends and that personally makes me feel a lot better. It makes me play better individually, and I think, I think our uh, our teamwork works a lot better because of that. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Next question from Fernando. Uh, hi guys, congratulations on the wins and making two grand finals. I'm Fernando from Valorant Zone from Brazil. Uh, my question is for Sassi. Sassizão, é, parabéns por essa grande final. Você volta a uma final internacional desde o título do Champions de 22 e a Sentinels volta a uma final internacional depois de 1028 dias. É, cara, qual o seu sentimento sobre chegar nessa final re sendo representante brasileiro e o que você espera para o jogo de amanhã contra a Genji? Cara, meu sentimento de, falando de mim, assim, é, sendo brasileiro também, cara, eu tô obviamente muito feliz. É, acho que... As pessoas não têm noção quão difícil é ser o gringo do time, né? E eu sou o gringo desse time aqui. Uh, então é uma conquista muito grande, uh, mesmo estando não não jogando a final ainda, mas só de estar participando da final já é uma conquista muito grande para mim. E eu conto com a torcida de todo mundo, óbvio, né? É, é um pouco complicado, né? Mas acredito que tem muita torcida para mim ainda e eu gosto de acreditar nisso, então... Sei lá, cara... Não tô até nem sei como falar isso, mas tô meio emocionado também, né? Mas tô muito feliz de estar aqui. Valeu, sessão. Thank you, guys. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Next question from Raquel Mais Esports. Hey, guys. Uh, congratulations on the win. My question goes to, to, to Sassi. Uh, Sassi, parabéns pela vitória. A minha pergunta também vai um pouco aí para o lado da pergunta do Fernando. É, você é o único brasileiro que vai ter a chance aí de poder conquistar esse título, né? Já que você jogou a, a final contra a Optic, né? E aí acabou perdendo por 3 a 0. Queria que você falasse como que você está se sentindo por ser o único brasileiro aí que pode lutar e brigar por esse título. Cara, como eu falei antes, né? Tô muito feliz, tô, tô emocionado por conta disso. E falando sobre um pouco a final que eu joguei, né? Contra a Obst, que você mencionou. A gente acabou perdendo, mas ali acho que foi minha primeira final, né? Internacionalmente, num campo internacional. Então foi mais uma experiência. Eu sinto que hoje em dia eu tô muito mais preparado para essa final. Então tô até mais tranquilo. E é a primeira vez que eu tô indo para uma final, indo pela Lower, né? Antes era as duas que eu fui, foi pela Upper. E a gente não vai ter a vantagem de vetos, mas mesmo assim eu tô sentindo muito confiante com esse time aqui. Obrigada. Valeu. Quase falou só de hacking, eu não vi. De novo, desculpa. <risos> Imagina. Thank you. Next question from Razor. Hi, I have two questions from the Valorant Competitive Community. Uh, the first is for John QT. 
Um, after losing pistols on attack, Sen have often opted to force buy without much success throughout this tournament and kickoff. For a team that plays such transactional and disciplined Valorant, is there a reason why you put so much faith in the force into force buys? Force buy, we win everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we actually? That's not a good look. <laughs> I, mean, oh, is it? I think I think we won a few on, but I don't know. I feel like if you actually go back into those uh, like uh, force buys, we just lose it to some details. I think because uh, I don't know. Sometimes we just start maps like very slow, and then it's like it's like a trickle down effect. Like the pistol, we can, I can already tell the team is a bit off in pistol because the communication is bad. Then uh, we force and we're like we're in a good position. Then we. Uh, and we lose, so yeah, I think uh, it, that's just how we are, and uh, we trust uh, my teammates trust me, and I think we have uh, high chances of winning those first rounds when we have a good plan. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can't win them all. We <laughs> won against Loud, John. Don't worry. We didn't. Oh, I know. How many of our <laughs> force losses are probably like something like an even numbers post plant? I don't know. Do you, I get a bucky entry down. every time, and then you guys just throw. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Figure it out. It is in the details. Fine. We lose, it's on me. We win. It's on Zach. <laughs> it's, thank you, Zach. <laughs> thank you. Um, and my next question is for the whole team. Um, congratulations on the win. It seems like your last match against Gen G, the team overall had less confidence and was struggling to play like they had in games in the past. Today was com uh, that was completely swept under the rug. What did the team do in order to find their confidence and play like a united front? And do you think this momentum will carry into grand finals tomorrow? One of you answer that. Uh, what did we do? Um... We had more fun than yesterday. That's what we did. Um, I mean, we did. We talked a lot. <laughs> we fought a lot too. <laughs> it's normal. But I think like the big deal that is that we focus on ourselves a lot for this match. That was I think the big difference. And also Jordan. Jordan like <laughs> kind of like he got he got in the hotel so mad. <laughs> And then they were like, okay, I never want to see Jordan so mad like that again. So, <laughs> and then, I don't know, we just played like a, a real team today, you know. I, I can say it, any reason here, but we just connected after the loss. And I think the loss was necessary for us to grow. That's it. Yeah. Yesterday was an off day for us in general. Uh, we, it was very uncharacteristic since uh, kickoff. We were like super off. Communication was bad. Maybe uh, a little bit of nerves because of the stakes were so high. So... Yeah, we talk, we just make sure to focus on us and just be the sentinels that we have shown before. Thank you. Thank you. Next question from Ganesh at Street. Hi, congratulations, guys. This is for Captain. Uh, you said that you don't have to choose Veto, but how much do you think the Veto advantage Jinji has would play a factor in tomorrow's game? Hopefully not much. It's definitely yeah. going to be harder than yeah. if we had the advantage, right? They're a great team, and we're probably going to miss out on playing some of our best maps, and we're going to have to play their best maps. Yeah. Not going to be easy at all because of that. But we you know, had a hard time yesterday for a lot of reasons, including not focusing on ourselves enough. We focus on ourselves today. That's the big thing for tomorrow. We focus on ourselves, and hopefully we can take down Genji even if it's a harder road than we would have preferred. Yep, all the best for tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So next question goes to Zelsis. So Zelsis, you are like the public relationship part of the team. You are the Wolf of Wall Street 2024 version. You do it all, but people sometimes fail to recognize the impact that you have on the server, right? You are not on the team because you want Sentinels to sell more bundles. You are there because you are a very good player. I want you to give your insights into how this challenging relation between doing it all on social media, on public relations versus what you do on the server is for you and is for the team overall. Um, yeah, obviously I'm a big troll, um, especially in the public's eye. Uh, I think the biggest thing for me is like, as long as my teammates know what I bring and like, 
you know, we're winning. I'm doing my job. Like that's all that matters to me. Um, as troll as I am and how many bundles I sell, uh, at the end of the day, like I want to win. My teammates know I want to win. I know my teammates want to win. So as long as we're a team, we're having fun. We're going out there. We're winning. That's good enough for me. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Next question from Sports Q to Esports. Uh, my question is for Kaplan. So it's been almost a month since VCT start, and even murder has been going on for over a week now. What has been the most challenging thing as a coach in this event, given that you were already among the tournament favorites and had to play so many matches to get here? Yeah, uh, the biggest challenge is playing really good international teams that play very differently than America's. Fighting burnout as a team and as a coach, this is probably the first tournament that on a personal level I've ever felt like at points, is there anything left in the tank before it's over? And uh, it's an awful feeling, and it's one I would like to avoid ever having again. I think on, on my end, I could focus on health to mitigate that in the future and delegating more, but at the same time, I'm really lucky to have a team that I can lean on. You know, that's part of it for me. I, I can say, hey, I need to lean on you guys, or you guys need to step up today, and they, they can do it, uh, including Drew Spark as an assistant coach, and that's been a big part of it. And yeah, I think that's a, a big, probably the biggest challenge personally, and I think as a team as well. The other biggest one would be maintaining the ability to focus on ourselves in the face of extra public pressure, extra expectations, extra stakes, right? Obviously, this is a more exciting situation to be in, Grand Finals in Masters Madrid, than a uh, random group stage game and kickoff. But at the end of the day, the formula to, to doing our best, which is the best way to win, is focusing on ourselves. So just have to figure out new ways to stay focused on that, despite the context of the games. Thank you so much, and good luck for your games tomorrow. Thanks. Next question from Ichiman. Hi, guys. Congratulations. My question goes to Tens. So there is a silly saying that we have in Latin America, and it goes like, if they win, it's because they had a really good breakfast. So we would like to know what you guys had for breakfast and also uh, what what's you're going to get for dinner. <laughs> Do you guys eat breakfast? <laughs> oh, I didn't eat breakfast. Yes, we can go down the line. <laughs> I, I didn't eat. Oh. You didn't eat anything? No. Today at all? A banana. Oh. That's fire. That's healthy. That's I'm concerned. I'm running on. First time I heard that. It's so I had two bites of a Subway Italian BMT sandwich and a banana. Don't even ask me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had some chicken Caesar salad and some fruit smoothie thing. They have chicken burrito, strawberries, grapes, rice and beans, rice and beans, oh, rice and beans. Importantly, <laughs> the Brazilian food I miss it. Amen. I had a pork coleslaw wrap with French fries and fruit. And fruit. And fruit. <laughs> Breakfast of a minimum of damage. <laughs> okay, now the two people who only had a banana popped off today. That's all I'm saying. It's not what I want to hear. <laughs> Something wrong. <laughs> Okay, and what do you expect or to have for dinner for the win of today? For dinner. I don't know. Room service. <laughs> I don't IGL the food Room service for the I was, I was gonna get Taco Bell. That's that's what <laughs> I like add or no, I just want Taco Bell. Okay. Uh I don't know. We'll figure that out in the shuttle, I think. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have another argument. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. I will say good luck, but I'm sure you guys don't need it. Yes, we okay. do. Appreciate it. Thank you. We do. We do. We do. Okay, good luck then. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Next question from Camus Spike Tab. Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, I just have a couple questions for tens, two quick ones. Um, actually, it was back to the food subject. I just wanted to ask. Uh, there's a really famous clip of you not eating. Obviously, you're kind of still doing that. I just wanted to ask you. Um, yeah, like how much. Also, this could go towards whoever, really, like Kaplan or whatever. But like, I just wanted to ask you, like, it's been a thousand days since, um, one twenty eight, one thousand twenty days since you won Reykjavik stage two. That's the last time you qualified for an international grand tournament. Um, a lot of you have been on the stage for a long time. 
Obviously, Saucy has won multiple events, been in multiple finals. Um, what do you think has contributed the most to your longevity on the scene and just like being able to c compete at this level and continue to make finals for so long um, since it's obviously not um, eating? Sorry, just give me a second. Uh, I think it's just the the willingness to like adapt to the game. I think Valorant changes a lot as the game grows. So Valorant, for instance, in 2021 was a lot different, uh, running a bunch of duelists, stuff like that. Um, now I'm more on like a smokes role, sometimes flexing to other stuff. So I think it's just kind of when new agents, new maps get released, um, new players come and old players go. But I think it's the ability to adapt to what is more like meta and be able to play at a high level for that awesome thank you good luck tomorrow guys thank you thanks thank you all right final question from raquel micy sports hello hello, hello. uh my question goes to john cutie um people was asking me if you was uh doing ramadan and i i want to know uh, how do you feel fasting in the entire tournament? Uh, I mean, the first few the first few days were hard, obviously. Uh, the hardest part is uh, not being at home and doing it at the same time, because uh, yeah, uh, hard to get food on time, and then like I can only break my fast with the banana, and I'm like mid game and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's a bit difficult. Uh, I got used to it. Uh, yeah, today I didn't fast because uh, I got sick and uh, and I woke up puke twice and I had to break my fast this morning. So yeah, I haven't I still haven't eaten much. I just had water and some fruits, but yeah, I mean uh, I think it's hard at first, but now after that it's kind of a buff. I just feel very focused and like in in flow state. Uh, I don't know. I just like I just can uh, dumb down my emotions and uh, just focus in the game. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that was the final question. Congratulations today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.